Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to import tables from multiple sheets within the same workbook using the Power Query Append feature. So what do I mean by that? Let's say for example that we have a scenario where we have the different uh, worksheets and they all have the same data or they all have the same format data. So in this example, it's a very simple example with two columns, item and quantity and maybe this is something for different regions, north, south, east, west. So instead of doing a bunch of copy and paste, we want to turn this into one big table. Now this is just a simple table to show it. Um, maybe in different scenarios, we could have, uh, instead of 10 rows, 11 rows, we could have hundreds, thousands of rows, and maybe this could be, instead of four sheets, this could be 10, 20 sheets in the same, and maybe we want to update these sheets too. And with Power Query, what we can do is once we set it up correctly, it can be done um, almost automatically. So basically, this is what we want to do. We want to turn these four sheets into something like this, just basically one big uh, table with just the item and quantity, but with the different types of records, north, south, uh, east, and west. We, you see east has disappeared, but west is still there. So let's show you how this is done in Power Query. So here I am in an Excel workbook. I have my different sheets here. This is north, uh, south, east, and west here. So what I want to do here is I want to turn each of these into a table. And that's going to be using the table feature. So I'm going to click anywhere within this range, go to insert and table, and it's going to ask it that I'm going to create a table. I'll say OK. And for my table name, we, we see now that we have this table tools contextual tab here. I'm going to go ahead and just type north here. All right, and that's the first table. So the second table I want to create is the south table. And I can click anywhere in the table. And instead of going into the insert tab, I can just press control T. It will bring up that same box, the dialog box. And I'll just go ahead and click OK. And I can just go ahead and type uh, south here. Press enter and go to east. Go ahead and press control T and press OK. And if I wanted to do, use a keyboard shortcut, instead of just like using my, my mouse to go up here, I can use Alt J T A. It will take me directly to that box, and I can type East. So you can see in Excel, there's different ways to do the same thing. So it just depends how you like keyboard shortcuts, or if you like to use the mouse. Let me go ahead and go to West here, and type Control T, and press OK, and then go up here and just type West. So there's many different ways to do the same thing. You can see that I've just done a different way using different ways do the same thing here, creating a table using keyboard shortcuts. So once we have the table set up for uh, these four, four particular tabs, what I want to do is I want to bring them into Power Query. So Power Query is one of those Excel BI tools that you have to uh, install and enable as part of Excel 2010 or 2013, depending on which version you have. So you can just go ahead and uh, Google Microsoft Power Query uh, installation, and you can go ahead and read up from Microsoft's site how to install it or enable it. So I'm not going to go through that there, but that's available for you there. After it's enabled, you will have this Power Query tab. What I need to do is go ahead and click on Power Query. It doesn't really matter which one I start with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start with North. And the Power Query tab, what I want to do is I want to get Excel data from a table. Since I've created uh, these four tables now, I'm going to get the Excel data from table. So I'm going to click on the first one and get from table. And it's going to go ahead and bring up the Power Query editor. And it brings it in to a table here. So that's fine. I'm going to go ahead. After it's brought it in there, I'll keep the north name, which was the table name. So it gives me an idea which table I brought in. So I'm going to go ahead and click Close and Load. And I'm going to go ahead and click this second option where I want to close and load it and just make a connection. I just want to create a connection right now. I don't want to load it into another table. So I'll go ahead and click Load. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other tables. So I'm going to go in there south and go under uh, Power Query, go get Excel data from table. And this is going to be the south one. I'm also going to do a close and load and bring this into the uh, Create Connection. Click OK load data and then I'm go ahead and go to east and do the same thing uh, go ahead this is loaded east data you can see that the name shows up here close and load uh, let me go ahead and click on the create connection only and then the last one is west so I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, from table close and load 
and then go to create connection only. Before I click uh, load here, you can see that as I've been doing it, uh, you see we have our north query, our south query, our east query. And you can see these are connections only. So I have the west is upcoming, so I'm going to go ahead and load that. So you can see here now I have my four workbook queries. And after that has always been done, what I want to do now is I want to append the data. So you see when I have my Power Query tab uh, activated, we have this combined grouping. What I want to do is append it. So basically, uh, these column fields are, the field headers are the same. I have my item field in column A, and then I have my quantity field in column B. So it's best if, if you have uh, the same field types and you're putting this data together, you're combining together, these column fields are the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click append and it's going to ask me where what I want to append first. So the first field I want to I want to do is I want to do north. So I like usually like to go from top down. Um, it makes it easier of course to remember and the table I want to append it to is going to be south. And so once I click OK there's going to be a new a query, the query editor window will open again and you see that it's appended north and south data. So I'm going to call this one a com combination. So let's just call it combine. And just press tab to get out of that. And it's already entered the name here. And then in this window, I also have an append queries command. So uh, once I've already kind of appended those queries, I can start, I don't have to go back and append them again. I can just append them from here now. Since I'm in the query editor, I'll go ahead and append the additional one. So I'll go ahead and click uh, that and I'm going to want to append. So I've already appended north and south. I'm going to go ahead and append the rest of the table. So I'm going to append the east query and I go ahead and click OK. You notice now it's added the east down there. Let me go ahead and scroll down. You notice it's added that there and I'm going to append one more and that's going to be the west. So I'm going to go ahead and click on west, click OK and we can see if I scroll down that has also been appended. So now what I want to do is I want to close and load and I'm going to go ahead and close and load and once I select the first option it's going to close and load it and make a new table within my worksheet. Now you notice that it has uh, put in that combined query and put this into a worksheet here. So you have my I have my queries that have all or my tables that became queries and that all have been combined. Now the nice thing about this, as I mentioned before, if you have any updates to one of the tables, uh, all you need to do, you don't have to go through everything again. All you need to do is just refresh to query. So let's say, for example, I go to West here and I just added something down here, maybe West underscore item 11 and tab. And this table expands because it's part of the table feature. You can notice now the, the color and the little icon here tells you that the range of the table has expanded because we put a new entry down there. I'm just going to give this a big figure so we know that that's the one that got entered, 10,000, right? Now with that entered in there, all we need to do is refresh this. So I can just go up under data and click refresh all and you notice, now you notice that uh, instead of 40 rows, it has 41 rows and if I go under back into sheet one here, you'll notice if I scroll all the way to the bottom, we should see that uh, WS items 11, 10,000. Now, in addition to adding items into your particular um, uh, ta table, you can also remove items and it will also refresh. So if I go into West here and I select that, right click and go ahead and select delete and it removed that record from the table. All I need to do is go back to data, click refresh all, and you can see that it's going. And if I go back to sheet one here, you'll notice at the bottom, it has disappeared. So it's very dynamic. So after we after you set this all up, and maybe you want to append data or remove data, as long as this all got set up correctly and you've got your workbook query set up, you can just modify your tables and click refresh all, and it does it automatically for you. So that's how we can combine sheets from one workbook using the Power Query Append feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.